yourselves i hope you're all doing really well so i actually have decided to start doing a weekly vlog is this gonna last more than one week i don't know but i've wanted to do weekly vlogs for ages and i've actually just been putting it off i wasn't even gonna do one like this week because it got so late on in the day i think it's about four o'clock in the afternoon now really sorry if i sound bunged up i think it's just hay fever i think we're all suffering at the minute but yeah I really wanted to do weekly vlogs basically. I'm going to be doing a separate video for my birthday because it's my birthday next Tuesday and I want to do like a birthday vlog but I'm also thinking of doing a weekly vlog. I don't actually know how that's going to work. I'm now just thinking out loud. It looks so pale. I definitely need fake tan. Um, so this week I think it might actually end up being a bit of a like glow up vlog because I need to fake tan currently monday but i don't think i'm going to be doing it until friday because then my annual leave starts from work so i can have like a nice fresh tan for the weekend going in to my week off birthday on tuesday and yeah i can just sort of feel good that week so i think this is going to be a week of just looking like this it's what it is hopefully by the end of this video i am looking a little bit better i'm actually thinking of tinting my eyebrows as well i don't know if you can tell but like there's literally nothing so i might do like an at home eyebrow tint thing i don't know but also can we just take a second like who am i having this mic on me i don't know i feel like some kind of weather woman i don't know but yeah because i film on my phone the sound quality is often terrible to be honest and i don't want to Put out videos that i think sound horrible so i thought i would pick up this mic let me find the box i picked it up off of amazon and i think it was about 20 pound maybe 30 maybe cheaper than that i don't remember but i will have a link down below just in case you wanted to pick it up as well so i don't really know what this video is going to sound like until i edit it back but hopefully it sounds better and just because i'm doing a lot more like sit down haul videos i'm actually filming vintage like horn i think that one might already be up on my channel by the time you're watching this but i haven't yet filmed it but i did film half of it look back and i just hated the audio which is why i got this because i was standing quite far away from like the camera my phone and um, it sounded pretty much like i was standing far away so i needed to try and fix that so hopefully this works if that video i am sitting down in my normal position with just like the try on clips next to it it means this did not work but hopefully i can do it like standing up i just wanted to do it a little bit differently so yeah i picked that up so if you're wondering what this is just my little my little mic and also i am over the moon finally got my second and third holes pierced i got these done yesterday i just went for like the cheapest studs which is like a silver stud and you know i am all about the gold jewelry so i'm not too happy about that but i just needed the cheapest thing and then in like three or four weeks when it's healed i can put like gold jewelry in but i am so happy that i finally can have like a pretty ear stack especially for when we go on holiday i just love it so much every time i watch youtube videos and i see that they've got like loads of earrings i always feel really jealous because i want that so i'm over the moon that i finally got them done but yeah i don't really know what this week is going to bring like i said this is a very spur of the moment this is my first ever weekly vlog i am starting it on a monday that's why that's why i was going to put it off because i was thinking well if i don't start today i can't start tomorrow because tomorrow i am going to be sleeping most of the day because i'm working tonight and then I can't start a weekly vlog on Wednesday. So I was going to put it off. You know that something else will come up next week and the week after. So yeah, we are starting this week on a Monday. I need to quickly whiz around and tidy up. That is the first thing on today's agenda. I don't know how much more we're actually going to get done today. But yeah, I'm just going to pick the camera up as and when during the week. Anything, anything exciting happens, I will bring you guys along. But yeah, honestly... I have no idea right now what this is going to be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a glow up. It's look insane right now. So yeah, I need to sort my hair out. I need to tan. I need to do my eyebrows. That'll all be later on in the week. But yeah, right now I just want to riz, ra riz round. Right now I just want to whiz round, tidy up, 
do a little bit of exercise and see where the day brings me. I normally go to sleep at about four o'clock when I have work. So like I said, I'm working tonight, but I did have a really late lie-in this morning. So I don't know if I'm going to be going to sleep or not, but we will see. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video, something a little bit different. Let me know down in the comments what you would want to see in a weekly vlog. I want to try and make these actually weekly um because yeah sometimes i just miss filming and sometimes i really don't know what it is i want to film but if i do a weekly vlog i can literally just film everything so yeah if there's anything that you want to see let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into today's video I am so tired. Can you actually believe I come on the internet looking like this? It's a little bit insane, but there you go. Hopefully I do have a little bit of a glow up by the end of the week, like I said, but it's not gonna happen today. So good morning. It is now Tuesday and I have just got home from work. It is about 8.15 and yeah, I just need to shower get nice and cozy and comfy and have some sleep but I do actually have a few bits from this just came out of the bag but a couple of bits from Shein that I want to try on I've just got a couple of bikinis and then like a beach cover-up trouser I think you're wonky oh <laughs> um yeah just some beach trousers that I want to try so I'm gonna try those on in a little while but I got these out of the packet yesterday and I'm sorry, but what is this? Like, yeah, I don't have high hopes, if I'm honest. I don't have high hopes, but you never know. It might look all right. I also got um, a white one because I've been on the hunt for just a normal like white bikini for ages. So hopefully they fit. But I think to start with, I am going to shower and make a coffee or a hot chocolate. I've not actually decided yet. And just yeah get clean and cozy wash the night shift off of me and yeah we can go from there showered I've got a hair mask in and I'm gonna be putting some cream on I actually just love like Nivea cream I think it's really nice I'm gonna try on those Shein bits I always feel like I'm gonna have so much more energy after work than what I actually have and I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to get so much filmed, I've got the whole day, but I really don't because I need to go to sleep. I want to try those Shein bits on and just, yeah, see how they look. Hopefully they look okay. If not, I am going shopping next week anyway, um, so I can pick up some different bits. But I just really like the black and white sort of theme, just keeping it neutral. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try that on. I did decide on a hot chocolate because I thought... I'm going to bed so I probably shouldn't have coffee and technically even though it's like 9am this is my evening so I just wanted to get nice and cozy with a hot chocolate so in my pyjamas, skincare's done, hair's in a mask, I'm going to try on the Shein bits and then wash this out of my hair and jump into bed. So when I say don't waste your money I mean it like an absolute joke so both of the so the bottom to this bikini top just falls off me like there is absolutely no point to this like no the top I think I can make work I don't think it's that bad I think it's a little bit of a weird shape but when I'm just laying by the pool and like not wanting straps then this is perfect it fits like a glove it's fine but yeah the bottoms are just horrendous and the same with the white bikini bottoms i've got them on under the trousers the trousers are actually all right to be fair they're not they're not that bad i wish they were a little bit longer or a little bit shorter so they were like the cropped but they're all right again just for sticking on around the pool if i'm going to the bar or something and then i've got like the white bikini bottoms underneath 
but yeah the fit of them is just really weird so i definitely wouldn't wear the bottoms to the white ones either like without this being over the top to cover them up but i mean it doesn't look too bad with this top and the trousers but yeah let's try the white top on and see if i have any more luck okay this is the white bikini top and it's just really weird but it has these like really weird cups in the top but it sort of stops here so this bit's really see-through and then this bit it's got like a really weird circle cut so from a distance on camera it really doesn't look that bad but there is no way i could actually wear this yeah i actually was expecting something a little bit better but never mind i'm going shopping next week so i'll have a look for some different bikinis because yeah these are not given but i mean the trousers aren't too bad and i am going to keep the other one because i like the top so yeah i mean you win some you lose some but it's just isn't me <laughs> everybody hello and good morning good morning good morning so i don't think i closed off hello i didn't close off i don't know why i'm saying i don't think i did i know i didn't close off the vlog yesterday i tried on the sheen bits and then i just went to bed so today is wednesday start of a new day i need to sort this mop out he's on my microphone He's on my microphone. Need to sort this mop out and then I'm going to film the vintage haul, which is already up on my channel. So definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. I'm going to pop you on a bit of a time lapse this morning whilst I get ready. And yeah, we can go from there because honestly, I am in no state. I was literally going to say I'm in no state to film a YouTube video. I'm literally filming a YouTube video, but you know what I mean? Like a haul. You need to be a little bit more presentable so i'm gonna make myself a little bit more presentable have my coffee and then i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later that vintage haul still haven't been done i keep trying to film it and Max is just like, no, I'm not having any of it. I'm going to jump up at you. I'm going to bark. I'm going to do all the things. So hopefully I can get that done tonight when Rob's home so he can have Max. But right now I really want to do some decluttering. And I've wanted to do this for quite a while. But I just haven't found the motivation. I've just not really wanted to. And I thought doing it in the vlog is just going to make me do it. Like it's going to motivate me doing it with you guys so thank you for motivating me to get this done i'm gonna like flip you around and show you what we're working with okay so this is the main one see it's even really hard to open but this is the main one that i need to sort out and yeah half of this stuff doesn't get used i've got some random like throat spray hay fever tablets in with my like hair bits so i just don't even know what's in here to be honest so those are my like ear things for my headache pressure inside the head and we actually picked up a few of these because i do get a lot of migraines a lot of like built up pressure but to be honest i don't really think they work but i'm holding on to them just in case because that is the hoarder in me but yeah there's just so many bits in here that i don't use so i'm gonna go ahead and just sort of empty it all out put it all up here and just give it a nice declutter all of this came out of that one drawer so there's quite a few bits in here that i can get rid of and then obviously quite a few bits i'm keeping but i found some stuff in here that i've actually been looking for like this i have been looking for this for ages and then oh, popping everything in and then i actually forgot i owned half of these styling tools so yeah i really need to just sort it out i have 
my argan oil spray so i'm gonna keep those in there this one's actually the most recent and i'm really enjoying this one so i tried to make each of them so that can go in there rob can have this back this is actually his um mousse that i stole and it's horrible it works really well for him so it obviously just depends on your hair type but it just leaves like weird white stuff in my hair like it looks horrible so definitely not going to be using that because then it just got some dry shampoo got two dry shampoo so these are really good these are the ones that come with um the hair dye like just the conditioners so i'm going to keep those these are the best razors in the world so these are the estrid ones and i get them on subscription they're just so good like i definitely recommend i think they are a little bit pricier than just buying like reusables in the shop but they just leave you silky smooth so definitely recommend those but again they don't need to be in my hair care drawer so let's just move those over there all the clips all the hair bands hair accessories and everything can go in this one and then my hair care tools can go on this side sort of in the order that i use them i guess so. these extensions are so good but they're just in the way now because i have grown my hair out and i don't really use well i never used hair extensions now my hair's longer but they are just so nice it's like a ponytail ponytail like extension i might see if my sister would want this because oi um because yeah like i said they are really nice quality they're just kind of in the way so yeah i might see if my sister wants those and so these few bits can go in my makeup drawer which i also need to declutter because it's this one down here and i barely use anything that's in here I definitely think I'm gonna have to be a bit more ruthless when it comes to doing my skincare drawer because I've got so much stuff that I'm holding on to that I don't use but I also want to hold on to. Are they my dividers? Are they my dividers? Are they? Right. So the first one is gonna be skincare, I think. Okay, so the first thing I'm obviously keeping is my Nivea cream. I love this. I use this on my body, my face, everywhere. That is a must. Things like this, I feel like can go. I always buy these on a whim whenever I have a breakout. And then I don't actually use it. So things like that can go. Yeah, body shop, like hand cream is really nice. So that can stay in there. My Nivea my cellar water for the eyes can stay my normal my cellar water obviously can stay but then things like this i do like doing a good face mask but i don't even know if this is out of date no this is gonna go because i'm just gonna keep things for the sake of keeping it and there's no point so this can go over here um the same with this smells incredible actually oh, but now i've smelled it i don't know this is why i keep so much skincare because it just smells incredible but i've had this now for a couple of years like this is this is probably definitely out of date probably definitely yeah you know what i mean i've had this for way too long you have to go it's gonna have to go but the nivea these hand creams oh is that one empty yeah that one's basically empty so that can go this one i'm keeping i don't use this either i'm gonna do the mistake of smelling it 
it smells so good but no i can't keep everything so that's gonna go this hand cream do i need it i don't really use hand cream very often but i'm keeping it this is actually setting spray i bought one from primark i think i did show that in like a previous vlog or maybe like a primark haul but the actual bottle wouldn't squirt so i cleaned this out and put it in here so even though it's in like a hair spray bottle thing this is makeup stuff so that can stay my deodorants they can go in a separate separate little divider for my deodorants we are actually getting somewhere cotton wool pads i keep meaning to use this one from the body shop but i've not got around to it yet and then i've got this one that i got ages ago i don't know why i've not used that yet but they can also go in there i could go through my makeup bag and i might see i might use this one instead because it's a little bit bigger but there are bits in here that i don't use at all so that is another thing i'm gonna organize because yeah there's no point having half this stuff because i don't use it this is a little bit of a weird angle but just go with it so i'm gonna be keeping my um like setting powder i actually picked this up from primark it's really good my elf halo glow I'm definitely keeping little brush i'm definitely keeping my charlotte tilbury without a doubt i'm definitely keeping but then things like this i got off of amazon and it's the revolution translucent powder and i've just not really got on with this one so i think i might lose that one and it's a really big pot as well so it will save a lot of space I've got both of these foundations, mascara, definitely keeping, blush, I'm definitely keeping, this is another one from Primark, I got it in the colour True Peach and it's so pretty and it was actually £1.50, Primark's makeup is actually really good, I also picked up the Flawless Glow from Primark not long ago, this was £6 and it's a little bit pale so it's good for the day's that I'm not tanned like now but I really like the elf one so yeah I think they need to come out with more shades of this one but definitely keeping both of those another Primark dupe this is the cream contour and it's just absolutely beautiful so keeping that another little Charlotte Tilbury I mean look how cute this packaging is I just think that's so pretty so I'm definitely keeping those bits as well but then things like this, I'm just not keeping. This is just the e.l.f. eyebrow powder stuff. But I actually could get on better with this brow cream. So I think I'm going to keep that one instead. So these two can go over there. Random lippy. Keep that. Okay. I don't even know why this is still in here. Like I have used. I've scraped this clean. I desperately need some more primer. Not gonna lie, don't have any. Just been using, um, just been using moisturizer at the minute. This is the NYX brow glue, and I want to try and pick it up in the tinted, tinted brown one. That might look really good, but this is just I have to have this on my no makeup days. Another Charlotte Tilbury pot that I'm keeping. This blush. I mean, where did I even get this from? I don't know, but it broke and it's going everywhere. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I just have this little mirror that I think I might actually get rid of. Because I used the mirror in the Charlotte Tilbury one. Okay, so a little lip liner and then a little spoolie that can go in the bin. So I've had that for quite a while. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to these bits. I don't know whether to put it back in this bag or if it would still be better in like a bigger one i might start using this one for a bit and then save save this one for something else and yeah we'll pop it in this one and see how it fits how much better does this look i can actually see everything that i own i did go ahead and put the ysl bag in there i actually got this off of vinted for two quid like how good is that so yeah i put all of my makeup in this one i do want to buy some new makeup brushes for this bag because i don't really want to put my old 
dirty ones in here. I did put my razors and my epilator in there as well. All of my like palettes here and then the miscellaneous stuff just in the back there so it's all together I mean, so everything here is going obviously not the mirror but all those bits all those bits down here i did actually decide to get rid of the hand cream because i'm not going to use it and i am just hoarding and then i'm also going to get rid of this makeup bag as well just because i don't use it there's really no point in keeping things that i don't use but yeah it's so much nicer i just love having everything displayed now so i can actually see what i need as soon as i open the door but having a de good declutter always makes me feel so good you want to be in a weekly vlog no okay okay <laughs> oh he's got the zoomies he's excited <laughs> I'm gonna do when I stop getting vintage deliveries because I'm literally getting them every day. I don't actually remember what I've ordered or what everything is. Oh, these are nice. Do you like these? Do you like them? These are the trousers that I got, and they're not actually what I expected. They are a slightly different colour. I don't think it's really coming across on camera, which is why when I bought them, I, they also did look cream and they were advertised as cream but they're actually like a a greeny colour um more like a really light olive which isn't bad at all I still think it's really nice it's just not what I expected and I put them on with chunky trainers because even though they are petite they're like from boohoo the petite range they're still very long but I feel like that will be okay with chunky trainers I don't think they look too bad like the bottoms might get a little bit a little bit worn in but it doesn't matter obviously i would not pair it with this top but yeah i don't think these are too bad i think these are going to be really nice on holiday so yeah not what i expected but still really happy with them look what has finally arrived my eyebrow tints as you can see like the ends are just non-existent so let's tint our eyebrows and see what happens the oil off okay so i'm going to go in first with a bit of vaseline and just put it around my brows so i don't get it like all over the skin <laughs> The end looks really thin still. And I guess it's just because I literally don't have any hair there, so. And this is literally what everyone uses, so it's got to work, right? So now, we'll leave it for 10 minutes. I don't know if you can even see a real difference. But yeah, I'll leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm going to go downstairs. And just like potter around a bit the kitchen to be fair looks like a bomb is here so let's go i'm going to pop you on a bit of a time lapse quickly do downstairs and then we can come back up and wipe this off show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. Okay, so it definitely goes darker and I wasn't the neatest. So let's get this off before I literally look even more insane than I already do. Okay. That's actually really good why have i not used this before yeah it's actually really good i can't even see my other stuff 
think just because I really don't have a lot of hair on this one, it kind of, I don't know. It definitely has made it darker though. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, I guess it has worked. I was kind of hoping that it would give it a bit more shape. I mean, I don't know why I thought it would give it more shape considering I have no hair and it has no shape, but I think they actually look a lot better. I think they they do match my hair a lot better now. So like my no makeup days, I've still got eyebrows on, which is always good. Good morning, my love. So I have finally fake tanned. I feel so much better now I've tanned. I used the Bondi Sands one. I was going to film it, but I was totally wiped yesterday and I just didn't have it in me to film anything. So I'm already tanned. I used the Bondi Sands Tanning Mist. Rob actually picked this one up by accident. I usually use the mousse, but this one isn't really too bad. I thought I'd give it a go because it's so much cheaper than the mousse. That was like four pounds. And I think the mousse is about 18, 15 to 18. So yeah, definitely cheaper. I think the colour is pretty much the same as well. It has gone a little bit patchy on my hands and randomly on my legs, but I don't really care about that, to be honest. I'm just happy to have a bit of colour back so I can deal with a little bit of patchiness. But today was actually going to be like a little bit, well, today's video was going to be a bit of a blow up. And it's pouring down with rain outside so there was absolutely no way i was going to waste the time doing my hair for it to be ruined the minute i step outside so that's why i still look like an egg i've just scraped it back got it out the way but i am super happy with the eyebrows i think they turned out really well and i love not having to fill them in now because i'm terrible at eyebrows so i can just put like a little bit of glue on them and like brush them through and they're good to go but yeah i just feel so much better so much refreshed i do feel more like refreshed and just ready for the day when i've got a tan on i know that sounds really stupid but yeah i just feel a little bit more put together but anyway i am going to end today's video here it is currently saturday so i'm really hoping that this is going to be edited and up <laughs> oh sorry losing my voice edited and up by monday so i really hope that you've had a lovely weekend and i hope you have an amazing week ahead don't forget to let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in the weekly vlog also don't forget to subscribe leave today's video a thumbs up and i will see you guys back here in my next video bye guys